losing weight is not rocket science. It requires no special diet, no special foods and no special exercise program. All we need to do is eat less calories than we burn. Despite this, as well as an ever-growing number of diets and weight control plans, obesity continues to grow. And the vast majority of dieters find it almost impossible to lose weight without regaining everything within a matter of months. Why is this? Answer, because we don't get enough support. Get proper help to lose weight. Our greatest need when dieting is encouragement. We need people to cheer our successes and help us overcome our disasters. Amazingly, most online weight loss programs fail to address this need. Instead, they focus on what we should eat, how many calories we should consume, and what exercise we should take. And while this advice is useful, it's not critical. Because most of us know this stuff already. What we have difficulty with, is motivation. We know what to do in order to lose weight, but we can't sustain it. Maybe we lack a strong incentive, or perhaps our family situation interferes with our weight loss plans, or maybe we hate cooking and eat out too often. Whatever difficulty we have, it's not likely to involve food or exercise. It's much more likely to be a motivational or lifestyle problem. Yet as I say, most online programs don't offer motivational or lifestyle support. And even when they do, their advice can often be expensive and quite uninspiring. Survey of Dieters The value of proper support was highlighted in a recent survey of members of Ann Collins' online weight loss program. The program includes a 24-7 community forum specializing in motivation and lifestyle support, with several thousand topics and approximately 100,000 posts. Subjects were asked to assess the personal benefit they had obtained from the forum. A total of 1,348 subjects responded, of whom 81% rated the program's community forum as, important, or, very important, in helping them to lose weight, while less than 5% said it, made no difference. While in no way conclusive, the results indicate the practical value of a, community, approach to weight management. Weight Loss Meetings For urban dieters, Weight Watchers is probably the best option. Their meetings are specially designed to help dieters overcome difficulties, but even Weight Watchers has its limitations. First, it's not cheap to join. Secondly, members typically attend only once a week. So if your diet wagon loses a wheel on Saturday night, you may have to wait several days for the next meeting to help you out. Like eDiets, Weight Watchers now offers an online service, but again, at something like $250 minus $300 a year, it's not cheap. Not easy to change habits. Changing our eating habits is no easy matter. Sure, it helps to know that a cup of fat-free milk contains 40% fewer calories and 16 times less fat than whole milk, or that lean ground steak contains half the calories and four times less fat than regular cheddar cheese, but how does this help us to say no to a second helping of pizza? How does it quench our desire for a double cheeseburger and fries? It doesn't. Because facing down temptation requires a change of attitude, a change of priorities. And in my experience, this takes time and as much encouragement as we can get. We need to hear from people like us who have managed to change their attitude and eating habits, and who can explain how to overcome the problems involved. Above all, we need a safety net if we fail. We need shoulders to cry on and, tough love, to help us win through. In short, we need the support of a real community. Join an online community forum. In my experience, dieters who join a good online community forum can expect to lose 400 to 500 percent more weight than those who go solo. In addition, if they maintain their community membership after achieving their goals, they have an excellent chance of maintaining their weight loss indefinitely. This is because an online community can provide a number of specific benefits. First, as stated, it offers personal advice and encouragement. Secondly, it offers members the opportunity to help other people, something that typically works wonders for their self-esteem and understanding. Thirdly, most community forums are self-run. Members may progress to become moderators or resident experts. This too is a real confidence booster as well as a great incentive to maintain weight lost.
But by far the major benefit is the fact that online forums are in action 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So support and human warmth is available whenever you need it. They are real 24-7 safety nets, especially Anne Collins Forum which has members from all time zones of the world. Features to look for. The best forums are active, well-managed and provide quality advice and support. Activity is best judged by checking the number of active members rather than total membership. And the greater the number of recent threads, topics, and posts, messages, the better. Assessing the management and quality of the forum is a bit more difficult. To do this, open a recent thread, scan the posts and look for the following. First, how quickly do members and or moderators reply to questions asked? Second, are the questions and answers reasonably serious, or more frivolous? Generally, a well-managed forum will have a higher percentage of serious posts. Other questions to ask yourself include, how, personal, does the forum appear to be? Do you feel a sense of warmth and caring? What age groups are most active? Take a good look around, and don't hurry. Finding the right forum for yourself is crucial to your weight loss success. Summary, focus on what matters. The secret of successful weight loss is to focus on what matters. So don't waste too much time or money trying to find the perfect diet. I mean no disrespect to any dietitian or nutritionist but, for most people, a diet is a diet is a diet. As long as it's reasonably balanced and includes a reasonable number of calories, it'll do fine. What really matters is support, to help you cope with temptation and disruption during your journey. An excellent option is to join an online weight loss forum and be part of a real community. Because when you have tons of friendly people cheering you on, you can move mountains. 8 Mistakes People Made While Trying to Lose Weight 1. Start to Skip Breakfast Most people trying to lose weight believe simply eating less and skipping meals helps shed that fat. And breakfast is a real easy meal to skip. This is one of the biggest mistakes you can make when on a weight loss diet. If you leave the house in the morning on an empty stomach you're much more tempted to eat more at morning tea and lunch times. And, calories you eat at breakfast time are easily burned throughout the day. 2. Eat one day and not the next. People would literally eat about 2000 plus calories one day, feel guilty, and end up eating about 700 calories the following day. If you, starve, yourself throughout the day you're much more likely to eat more in the evenings, which is not going to help you lose weight. You should consume most of your calories in the morning. 3. Bought diet food. When people went shopping I always looked for the foods marked diet, low fat, healthy etc. This is a good practice to get into, but people was buying these foods for the wrong reason. People bought these foods because in my mind it meant people could eat more. People would totally disregard portion size. If you eat diet foods in large portions you're not doing yourself any favors. 4. Thought I'd always be fat. This is mindset that you must break if you want to lose some serious weight. Sometimes it feels like you're doing the right things and not making any progress, this is totally natural. You need to focus on being happy and healthy and achieving your goals. Try not to get caught up in, the big picture. 5. People started eating salads as main meals. Eating salad is a good way of keeping your calorie intake down right? Yes, meal of salad has much less calories than a pizza but does it have the satisfaction? When you eat your mind needs to get some satisfaction from what you have just eaten. People found that when Peepi ate salads for meals a few hours later I was back some people the cupboard looking for more food. Better off eating a balanced meal with slightly more calories than simply eating a salad and snacking afterwards. 6. Start new diets on Mondays. When people found a new diet that people decided people was going to try people always started it on a Monday. This meant people would eat all weekend like people was never going to eat again. Doing this people was just setting myself up for failure. 7. Embarrassed to go to the gym. Taking the plunge and joining a gym was one of the hardest things some people ever did. You was always worried that people in the gym would be staring at me and talking about me. Some people really thought I was too fat to join. You should join a gym. You'll be glad you did. 8. Set your goals to high. 
Setting long-term goals is great, but these goals always seem to far off. You need to set smaller, more reachable goals that you can regularly meet to keep your motivation high. Set yourself weekly, monthly and three-monthly goals. Once you meet one short-term goal set a new one for next week.